you had something prepared only uh, maybe a poem yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. I read. thought uh, I could read a little something <clears throat> from uh, from Evans here. I, I, it was uh, a passage I thought about uh, yesterday. It doesn't really have anything to do with Christmas, but uh, uh, it's talking a little bit about adornments and such. And I thought, okay, um, in a little way, uh, it's true for this. So it's called uh, Goddess of Love. And it's a rather short passage. Um, so it goes like, They had me adorned from head to toe. I felt like a spectacle they had come to see. It was a good thing I was so covered. No one could really see that it was me. I lowered my gaze, hiding behind my eyelids and my lashes. The dress was a sea of lotuses. They hung open while I remained closed. Fascinated by the contrast, I moved my toes. I had been standing for so long that my feet began to ache. I wanted to sit, but my legs would not move. I sighed to myself, tasting the desperation. It tasted foul. I needed something else. I searched through my body for what I could have. Not the power of speech or the third eye for insight, not the pa uh, insight, not passion and not creativity. Just now I needed something else. I felt my heart, I felt love. I took a deep breath and whispered to myself how much I loved me. Desperation and aching dissipated. The dress didn't feel heavy anymore. A gentle pat on my shoulder made me turn. He looked at me with such friendly eyes. You must be tired. Come and sit over here. He led me through the noisy, curious crowd to a corner of peace. My heavy dress fell off and I wore a, linen, a thin linen gown. Deeply grateful, I took the offered seat. He was off again and returned with a meal and water. He watched me while I ate and maintained a peaceful silence next to me. When I had finished, he asked if I would like to see the full moon. I nodded and rose, as he did too. He offered me his hand and led me into the illuminated night. The moon looked down at us and smiled. Thank you for saving me, I thought to myself. You did that when you chose love, he, he replied. Okay. So, um, in a way, I thought, uh, with Christmas and all the decorations... Um, sometimes maybe we forget what it's really about, uh, the feeling in here, uh, the love and the peacefulness and uh, being together with the people we love. So um, that's why I chose that one. Um, and then I did something I usually don't do. Um, I have a deck of uh, tarot cards. Um, let me see which camera. Okay, so here you can see it in the small picture. I bought it a long time ago, more because uh, I love the pictures. Um, this artist is amazing and I love how dreamish and uh, vivid and fantastic the pictures are. And then I thought, okay, I asked the question, what does this uh, passage mean today? And I got three cards. So I'm going to show you them. Uh, what do you mean, what it mean today? Today, this day? In this day, this because day. Uh, it's like that with poetry. It could mean something else tomorrow. Yeah. It depends on where you are at the moment, what you're thinking about. It's That's what I love about poetry and music as well. It can mean one thing one day and then another thing the next day. So... Um, I have three cards to dive through. And with the tarot deck, you also get a little um, a book of explanations, um, meanings. So we start with this first card. Maybe you can... Yeah, and it says uh, temperance. Find a blend of the earthy and the spiritual within you. You are not bound to mundane matters unless you choose to be. I really like that. It goes so well with the story. Um, and if we take the next card, uh, this one, these are quite fun because they are all um, around the dress. The dress is kind of uh, elaborate here. It's like a maze and there's somebody down there holding a key. I 
like. So this is number 20, it's judgment. The path, the path you have chosen has led you to your present place. The key to liberation is to accept and understand this. And that's also so true for the story, uh, that we can always choose. Hmm? And the last one is uh, it's swords, and so it's uh, so the number here. Ten. Is it important the number? Yeah, yeah really... ten of swords. And this is a different aspect. So it says the situation is ruined, and it's time to cut your losses. Grieve for what might have been, but don't stay in that dark place too long. Gather your courage and begin again. So moving on is a key concept here. And that's also true. I mean, something brought us to where we are. If we're not happy where we are, um, maybe we move on. And it's okay to grieve uh, what did not happen the way you had expected it, but then you move on. Don't stay in that dark place. So I thought this was really nice symbolism. So I, Yeah, but also you found something that matched um, the poem. Uh, yeah. Did you have to browse through a lot of cards? No, no, no. Them? I just picked those. Picked those three. Okay, I usually, by chance, you... I, I usually spread it out and uh, then I pick a card that yeah. feels right. Okay. 